Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Media Jacks. Today we're going to be talking about setting up Paid Membership Pro. It's a plugin for accepting payments and uh, controlling content for members onto your WordPress website. It's a great plugin um, that we've been using for a while now and with new features that have been installed. Paid Membership Pro has uh, outsurpassed a lot of other membership web plugins on the WordPress plugin store. So to get started, we're just going to go and cover a few aspects of what Paid Membership Pro does. Uh, to do that, we're going to go and um, figure out in plugins and then add a new plugin and then search for Paid Membership Pro. It should be the first answer that you'll get in search results. There it is. So Paid Membership Pro is basically a plugin where you can get paid and uh, accept membership systems onto your WordPress website. You can control subscriptions with this plugin and you can do a lot more which we will now get into the details. There are a lot of add-ons as well available for this plugin but we're going to be talking about the main plugin which is Paid Membership Pro and it's been designed and developed by Stranger Studios. So let's get started about what Paid Membership Pro does and uh, then you'll be able to get into details of how to set it up onto your WordPress website and things like that. Um, we're going to click on more details to get some information. Paid Membership Pro is basically a member's um, subscription system that you can set up on your WordPress. So if you're looking for creating a, a social network or a members only website where you can control what your members see, this is a great plugin to do that. You can create levels and you can create multiple types of levels where you can control which member sees what type of content. Uh, there are payment gateways that are included in the system so you can ask your members to pay for the content that they want to view. Uh, there's extensive options for content restriction and that is true. I've seen that myself and I can take you through those as well. Uh, there are reports and there are dashboards for each member. Uh, you'll be able to give your members options to subscribe, increase the level that they want to move to and even cancel their subscriptions. There are over, well this mentioned 60 but I think there are over 100 add-ons that you can actually get from the, from the internet and as well as a paid membership pro website. Uh, so. If this is something that you're going to integrate into your website, I highly recommend that you get started now. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through how to install Paid Membership Pro and how to set it up, just the basics so you guys can get an idea of what can be expected, right? So just to give you some context, I am on a completely stock vanilla WordPress website. This is set up on my local host. Uh, as you can see, there's, um, there's nothing on this. There are no plugins. There are no pages, there are no posts, there's nothing, right? It's a completely stock system. Uh, everything is very, very raw. There's nothing on this. So to get started by installing Paid Membership Pro, we're going to go to Plugins again. We're going to add in the new plugin that we want. Then we're going to actually search for Paid Membership Pro. Again, it should be the first results that you will see. So that's a result for Paid Membership Pro. You can see that the first one we're going to install that now. While it's installing, it'll take a couple of seconds, but I just want to tell you that this video is very, very basics. It's how you can set it up and how you can activate this plugin and how you can, you know, create basic levels and, and, and offer your members, you know, privileged content, premium content and that you can control based on their levels. You can also um, do a lot of payment integration options and, and install some of these add-ons that you will also find as results in, once you search for Paid Membership Pro. But um, the important thing to keep in mind is that we can actually customize everything that we build which means Paid Membership Pro is customizable as long as you're on the basic plan. They have pro provisional uh, premium versions as well where you can upgrade for a little uh, money but uh, we don't need to get into those details because the stock version the free version does absolutely fine so now that we've got it installed we, all we need to do is activate it we're going to activate paid membership pros right now take a couple of seconds and there it is so now we've got paid paid membership pro activated on our stock vanilla wordpress website 
So now to get things started, we're going to set it up. We're going to create pages. We're going to create levels. I'm going to show you some of the settings and all that can be available once we click on settings from here and it's also available from here. And you can see these are sub menus that are created. You can control the membership levels. You can do paid settings, payment settings, email settings, advanced settings, get some add-ons if you require, look at reports and members list and look at the orders and discount codes as well. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click on settings and you'll be taken to this page. This is the page where you'll be creating uh, levels for your members, but we don't need to get into this right now. We'll get to this at the end uh, of our entire setup process. To get started first, we're going to go to pages. Um, pages are important because these are, the, these are the pages where your members will start making payments. They'll see the plans available, they'll get confirmation, and they'll get their invoices, etc. So as you can see, I don't have any pages created except for the sample page that comes with a stock vanilla uh, WordPress installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this plugin generate them for me by just clicking here. Now those pages have been generated and Paid Membership Pro has created all these pages. So now if I go to View Page, it'll open up in a new tab and I can actually see that what that page looks like. Uh, it will not make a lot of sense right now, but we're going to go back to know that all these pages are done. Once these are done, I'm going to click on, on uh, Save Settings and then I'm going to move to the next setting. The next setting I need to set up is Payments, Payment Gateways and SSL Certificates. Uh, you can move this in production or you can actually just keep it as testing only. Uh, these are the payment gateways that have been pre-installed by uh, PMP Pro. You can also get uh, additional non-approved or non-created payment gateways and then put them into this uh, as add-on plugins. Uh, for, for the purpose of this, we're going to do a testing only website because I'm, I don't have any of these details available on me right now. But uh, testing only will serve this purpose perfectly well. Um, the gateway, we're not on live production, so we're going to keep it in sandbox testing. Um, the currency that I want to sell is in US dollars. Of course, you can have the option of moving to any currency you want. Uh, these are credit cards and debit cards that I'll be accepting on my new website. And if I have an SSL certificate installed, I just need to say yes and then paste my SSL encryption key here. So once all this, for now, I don't have one, so I'm going to just say no. Once that is done, I'm going to say I'm going to save those settings again. The next setting I want to do is move on to email. Now, email is everything that controls communication between your website and the member. So what actually happens is I can actually set up the email that says sales at my website dot com, uh, and from mail say membership website whatever the, your website is. Um, I can actually uncheck this and I keep it unchecked and say that it'll always come from WordPress at localhost or WordPress at you know whatever your website is. Uh, we can send out emails for all these uh, checks. That's just for when a, when a member checks out, when he makes a change, when there's cancellation made, when there are bill upgrades to be made, and so on and so forth. Uh, new users can also be notified to the administrator. And once that is done, you can and you're happy with these settings, you can save it and move on to the next. Uh, under advanced settings, you'll find uh, things that you can control to show your logged out members, your logged in members, and and non-members and things like that. So understand that these are not users; these are members. So if the message for a non-logged for a non-logged in member would be this, right? It would actually say this content is for this member only. You need to register here to create an account and things like that. And the message for logged out members is whatever you want to show. Uh, if you have an RSS feed, you can show that and so on and so forth. If you are using reCAPTCHA in your registration form, you can do that as well. If you have a terms and conditions page, you can say, you can choose the page from here. For now, we'll just call it the sample page and we'll say save settings. Uh, the last option on this is add-ons and add-ons is basically a list of, of, of plugins that have been created by PMP Pro. These plugins are actually uh, authorized by them, some of them free, some of them premium, some of them freemium. Uh, you can choose the ones you want. There are, there are a bunch of them to import users from CSV. If you have another membership site you want to move from, uh, there's auto renewal checkbox. There are different payment gateways. There are forums. There are check levels. There's a lot of stuff you can do, and all of these have been created by PMP Pro or approved publishers by that website. Now, since we have all these, we don't require all this, and we have whatever we need. What we're going to do next is actually create membership levels. This is the first option, but we're going to keep this for the last thing because I want to just create a very simple membership level and say free versus um, you know paid membership. So I'm actually going to give this a name and say this is a gold member. And I'm going to say, hey, to view this, you are going 
to become a gold member. If he subscribes to this membership package and say, awesome, you are now a gold member. I can actually ask for initial payment of how much this needs to be had. So I can say I'm going to charge you $9. And is this a recurring subscription? If I say yes, I'm going to charge $9 for 30 days. So now what this means essentially is that um, to view this membership or to become a member of the gold member uh, plan, this guy needs to pay me $9 as an initial amount and then $9 every 30 days. I can also make this zero and then he just needs to pay me $9 every 30 days without paying me any initial amount. Uh, I can also choose to have a custom trial if I just want to give it to him for one day or two days to just test things out. So I'm going to say, hey, for the first three days, you can pay me $3. So that means $3 for the first three subscription payments. So that's not exactly three days, but it's for three 30 days. So I'm just going to say for one subscription payment. So the first month is basically $3 and every subscription month after that would be $9. The next thing that is going to happen is I can disable new signups if I want to stop offering this package and actually set an expiration date of when this package will expire so somebody needs to upgrade to the next level. Uh, I'm not going to do a trial period and I'm not going to do an, an exp expiration date on this plan. I'm just going to keep it simple that $9 for 30 days is what he needs to pay me to become a gold member. Um, once I've set that, I can actually choose which categories of content that he can read, but I can also control this in a different way. I can control it manually. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple that to become a gold member, you need to pay me $9 for 30 days and we can control what he wants to see. I'm going to save that level and you'll see it there. So now what's essentially happening is that I've created a level and now I'm going to offer it to my members when they come to register the website. Unfortunately, no member can register at a WordPress website until I have turned certain settings on. So I'm just going to search for the settings. I believe it's in general or reading or writing. I, it's right here. It's in general and it says membership. Anyone can register. So I'm going to turn that on under general settings of WordPress. Then I'm going to save that. And I have now set up my WordPress website for anybody to visit. So if I look at my WordPress website, I'm going to open this up in incognito mode so it's not related and this is what a user will see right you'll see this is my website that this is my new membership plan but now I want him to see a specific page which I have not set up in the menus yet so I'm going to actually ask him to look at sample page if he looks at the sample page this is what I am seeing as administrator but if I move into incognito this is what he would see a sample page with content on it but let's say I wanted this sample page to be available only to my gold members, the level that I have set up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to pages. I'm going to click on edit of my sample page. And on the right hand side, I'm going to see a little box, dialog box that opens and say, hey, does this page require a membership? And if I say yes, I'm going to choose gold member. So what that means is that I'm going to click on update. And now when I go to incognito to see this as a user and refresh, It'll say, hey, this content is for gold members only. You see that? Now, this means that I can control whatever's on this page to members who are only gold members. So now he can choose to log in or register or create an account. So if he clicks on login, he's going to go to the login screen. If he clicks on register, we're going to ask him to pay $0 now, which is the initial amount, and then $9 every 30 days. So he's going to select that plan, and then he's going to fill it up his username, his password, and everything with his billing address and the country and the phone number and then the payment options, we're going to take MasterCard, American Express and Discover Cards with expiry date, a CVC number and then the terms and conditions that we specified. He clicks on agree, he clicks on submit and check out and then that procedure is done. Of course, I've not filled up all these fields. So what will essentially happen is that he'll get a note, he'll get an email that says, hey, you've been signed up and um, he'll be able to access that content uh, post that. Now to see if that subscription, um, can, I can go into memberships, I can go into members list and I'll see his name under here. So right now it's not there because I've not completed that registration process and uh, if I did I would have seen it here. 
Uh, once you have a lot of registrations and a lot of members, you're able to export that to CSV and do whatever you want with that. Uh, you're able to see reports of what's been happening, of how many views and visits and logins and things like that. You're able to, see, you're able to you know, figure out your revenue and your sales and everything else. You're able to actually view your orders and invoices from you as well, paid, incomplete, and things like that. And in case you want to offer a discount, you can go to discounts and then just create a new discount code and say the code is 50 off starting from well, 2016, 2018, and you can use it a hundred or just one time, that's fine. And you can apply to go member plans only. So what the plan is that it'll offer you initial payment zero, bling blah, bling blah, custom trial, and we'll change that to seven. We we'll click that, save. And now 50 off is the coupon code that he can enter during his membership procedure. So we're gonna go back a step and again back a step and again back a step so he can register. He can select the plan and if he has a coupon code, he'll be able to enter it right here by putting 50 off and applying and say, hey, that has been applied. So now instead of $9, you pay just $7. So there you go. Paid Membership Pro. It's a beautiful plugin if you want to start a membership website and control the content that you want to offer. And it's all available right here in WordPress. And all this is for free. And you can set up your new website today. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. I hope you guys can go out there and make great stuff. And uh, we look forward to you meeting you the next time we have another tutorial. Uh, in the meanwhile, don't forget to check out some of the content that we have for you on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this with a thumbs up. Cheers, guys.